Bridlington is a popular seaside holiday destination, but most people probably aren't aware of the role it had in the history of surfing. Now, Britain isn't exactly the first place we think of when we think of surfing, but we do actually have a considerable history and subculture of it. And this beach at Bridlington has a claim to fame of being the site of the first documented case of surfing in Britain. Surfing has been a central part of Hawaiian and Polynesian culture for thousands of years. Yorkshireman Captain Cook was the first documented European to make contact with the islands, and in 1779 his crew reportedly jumped overboard to join the locals at surfing, thus becoming the earliest recorded account of Europeans trying out this ancient practice. In the late 19th century, two Hawaiian princes were studying in England. Named Joe Nakuhio and David Kawananakoa, apologies if I haven't pronounced them correctly, they had already brought surfing to the United States when, in 1885, they surfed at Santa Cruz in California on planks of redwood 15 feet long. The Kingdom of Hawaii and the UK enjoyed a close relationship for many years. In 1824, King Kamehameha II and Queen Kamumalu enjoyed a state visit to the UK, although sadly both caught measles and later died. At Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee in 1887, many European nobles were upset that the Hawaiian royals ranked higher than them in precedence and protocols. And of course, the Hawaiian flag bears a Union Jack in the corner. The Prince's tutor, John Wrightson, treated them to a holiday at Bridlington as a reward for their good work at school. The town was already a popular seaside destination, and so it was the perfect holiday spot for two travelling princes. As Kuhio described in a letter to the Hawaiian consul in September 1890, We enjoy the seaside very much and are out swimming every day. The weather has been very windy these few days and we like it very much, for we like the sea to be rough so that we are able to have surf riding. We enjoy surf riding very much and surprise the people to see us riding on the surf. Even Wrightson is learning surf riding and will be able to ride as well as we can in a few days more. He likes this very much for it is a very good sport. Over the next few decades, surfing would grow in popularity across the UK and US, exploding as the latest craze in the 1920s, with crime writer Agatha Christie and even the future King Edward VIII taking up the board. Now, before I finish, how could I visit Bridlington without taking a trip to Sowerby Hall? home of some of Amy Johnson's very own personal belongings. So there you have it. Surfing may be associated with California surf rock and sunny Australian beaches, but Yorkshire can have its claim to fame as well for being the location of the earliest recorded surf in Britain. I hope you've enjoyed this video, hope you've learnt something new and hope to see you again soon.